Did you know that by using geometry modes and a texture, you can make infinite, infinite objects? And today I'm going to show you how to make that. So I'll start by creating a new file and I will enable start shot just the keys I'm pressing. And now you can add any object. It can be a Suzanne, a monkey. I think it's the same thing. You can make a deer. I don't know, I'm just going to. It doesn't matter because we're going to use geometry nodes. So I came to the geometry nodes tab. Probably yours is different, but it will be the same thing. Here's the node tree and here's the viewport. So I'll start by creating a new geometry nodes setup and then first thing we you can delete the group input or you can just leave it here because we're going to add it after but now what we're going to do is add a volume cube and then put the volume into the geometry and now you can add a volume to mesh and then you get a cube but so you can get more resolution or get the really cool effects effects you can add the texture you can add any texture i really like the musgrave texture or the checker texture i'll put the checker texture and i'm going to put other texture so you can see it works with every texture so maybe the musgrave texture so now I'm just going to add a color ramp so you can we can put more detail and here. So if you are searching it's utilities and then color ramp on the, the color. So I'll add the factor or the color I I prefer the color into the factor of the color ramp and then the color ramp color into the density as you can see we're getting random really weird stuff if that's what you like you can keep it there but i prefer to bring this all the way up and then just to get really cool effects so i'm just going to bring like this and then bring this all the way black or maybe a little bit up then you can bring the scale down or up and bring the resolution up if you want and then here you can still make this black so you get different ones I'll leave it at all the way black and as you can see we got a really weird tech checker cube and it's repeating this pattern inside now if you want you can add height and into the density you see that we get a lot of weird effects again you can duplicate the color ramp and then just bring the white closer so we get more geometry and then you can bring the scale down i like to put 1.5 or 2 and as you can see you get a lot of holes in your mesh and you can still add more i'm just going to show one more which is the vernal light texture so if I plug the distance or color into the density, it will give different results. And I'll du duplicate the color ramp again. And then as you can see, you get some weird holes. And you can make like a cheese or something like that. I will put again on 1.5, the scale. And as you can see, you get a really like weird stuff. And you can plug the color into the density too. And then you can, I'll just duplicate again the color map. It's gonna really mess around here. So then you see that you get a lot of cracks. And you can bring this up. And you can use this to make some like kind of rock. A broken rock. But I still prefer the distance. It gives more smooth. But then you can see that it isn't going as well. It is getting this weird stuff at the end. And you can use a set sheet smooth. 
and now it's getting a little bit better but still it's getting weird so then you can add a subdivision surface so you can see you get a little bit more smooth but then if you don't want more resolution I just put a one or zero and you can come here to the modifiers and then add a smooth you can bring up this all the way up or you can just bring some and it's getting a little bit better as you can see if you want more you can put it on 100 but the problem is it removes some of the geometry so if you need to you need to mess up with the color ramps again and then uh, a cool way to make this customizable like easily you can Press Ctrl J, then Ctrl G, and that's going to make a new node group. And then you can put like this color over here, then this color over here, and plug out the color arms. And then you can rename like the first one. You press N, and then just come here to the group. Then the output, the first one is checker, so then you can rename it to checker. And now if you press tab, you see that we got the text texture like checker over here. And then if you want another one, you can plug. And it's easier to use it. So if you go here again, you can come here, you can click the button. And then you can still mess around with everything. And if you want to make this even more customizable, you can add now the group input that we deleted earlier. And then put the, this one in where you want to change. So it can be on the resolution of all. And then you can put like the subdivision level and such a smooth. And lastly, we can add a set material node and put the material into a new one. So you can see we get all the options right here. And you can do whatever you want to customize now. But that's the tutorial. If you want to make the material, I will just show you really fast what it made. I created a new material and brought the roughness all the way up and put out this orange color but then you need to come here if it isn't working material you can choose the material so now you get a material and for the background I added a plane and then use some bump to displace it like this I create new material and then a vertical light texture a bump and then a color ring. And then I, if you have node wrangler add-on, you can press Ctrl T. And then I plug the color into the factor. And then the color into the height. And then the normal into the normal. And because that's not a shading tutorial, I'm going really fast on this. But I, if you want, guys want, you can just comment below and ask for a shading tutorial. And... Now lastly, the, for the camera, I added a camera and then our GLR, so it is like this, and rotate it on the X 90 degrees and put it back. And then over here, I just mess up with this value so I get a rectangular shape. And then I render this sometime, I rotated the cube and added a lot of light right here. Just just to get this side so just right here scale up and then brought, brought the power up and the color is black right here but that's what I did for this project and if you want the file it will be out on my patreon so you get all the textures and everything and yeah, that's it for this tutorial, guys. 
I hope you guys enjoyed and hope you guys can make some cool shapes. And if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel and leave a like on this video. And if you know somebody who likes doing Blender, you can share this video with them. And yeah, that's that's it. If you're still here, thank you. And bye. See you guys in the next video.